Okay, so today we're going to check out how to make this extruded neon text here in Photoshop, which originally was inspired from my older tutorial, which was done in After Effects. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to go with this artboard size as a reference, and for the font, I went with Ivy Aura Display Media Metallic. I'm also going to leave a link in the description so you can download it. And I'm going to rename the text layer. This is going to be the text top. I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate, and the second one is going to be the text extrude. Let's go and uncheck the text top layer, select the text extrude layer and press Ctrl T to transform and press the left arrow once and then press the upper arrow once as well. Let's go and click on the checkbox here. And now we're going to need to access a longer shortcut key. So I'm going to press and hold Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus T. And I'm going to need to press it a lot of times until it's going to create this extrusion effect and it's going to create a ton of layers as well. I'm going to press and hold shift and select all these copy layers and I'm going to press Control G to group them. I'm also going to double click on the folder, color overlay, just apply color doesn't matter and I'm going to apply the text top as well. And from here we're going to need to work on the extrusion. So I'm going to select the text top, I'm going to decrease the fill first to zero and let's double click on the layer and let's go and activate the stroke. Let's recolor the stroke. First, I'm gonna make it white, decrease the size. Size is gonna be 20, position outside, and hit OK. Now let's go and double click on the folder layer here, and let's go and select the stroke. For this situation, we're gonna to need to add 40 pixels at the size. Make sure to be outside, click OK. And now let's go to the folder with the group, a right click on it, and select Convert a Smart Object. I'm also going to rename it again, text extrude. And from here, all you need to do is drag and drop the effects on the text extrude and decrease the fill to zero. I think the stroke is a little bit thick, so I'm going to decrease the strokes, maybe 16, and I'm going to repeat the same step with this. And about least, we're going to need to apply all the glow effects. But before that, we're going to need to convert both layers to smart object. So let's do that. Right click convert. And now I can go and double click on the text top, for example. And first I can apply the gradient overlay. Click on the gradient and I'm going to change up the colors. This is going to be the green. And then I'm going to go with a yellow right here. And then I'm going to press and hold alt, drag the orange here and just repeat these steps to duplicate them. So it's going to look something like this. Click OK. Make sure the angle is somewhere around 90. Also, you can adjust the scale. Now let's go and activate the inner glow. Change up the color. I'm going to go with some yellow-ish. Click OK. The blend mode is going to be normal. Opacity 100. I'm going to go with the choker 30 and the size on 4. Let's go and activate the bevel and emboss. Shadow mode is going to be a green. Shadow mode. Change it to color dodge. Highlight mode. Screen. Depth is going to be on 400 and the size on 5. And about least, let's go and activate the drop shadow. Here we're going to change up the color to some green again. Blend mode, change it to hard light. Opacity 70. The distance is going to be zero. I'm going to increase the size all the way to max. And we're going to need to duplicate this. So let's click on the plus to duplicate the drop shadow. Select the top one. And I'm going to decrease the size here to 160. Let's duplicate the drop shadow again. And let's decrease the size to half somewhere around 80 and let's duplicate one more time and here decrease it to 25 and now you can click OK and we're also going to need to copy paste these effects on the text extrude so let's go to the effects icon here press and hold all to drag it on the text extrude so it's going to duplicate it you also can apply a curve and adjust the curve at least the glow on the curve so you can see how it's going to look before and after. And pretty much that's how you make this really cool extruded glow text here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.